Hello, Brick Builders. How are you doing today? Mr. Studs with our daily tip number 27. If you follow our social feeds, you will already know what I'm going to be building with this. For everybody else, this is it. We are building a sewer drain or a storm drain, whichever you call it, for our roadway. When I first started developing these roads, it was literally just to have an alternative to road plates. But the more I think about it, the more I realize that these roads can really be used to customize your city exactly how you want it. So for this particular um, build, we are actually going to be using a lot of the backside. So to accommodate that, I have blocked out the back to add strength. And we will be using this back to build a whole lot of different details into our front, starting with the storm drain. So let me quickly go through how I came up with this. So here is the arch piece with the clip. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Then we're going to flip those around so they mirror each other. We're going to take our grill piece and lock those two together. Now it is still a bit wobbly, so we're going to add some structure right now. We're going to take a plate, put that on, and use some brackets on the side. Put those in place. Now we can take some other plates, one by plates, and lock those in. And now we have a very strong structure. So we're going to use these ones to fill in. We're going to take some tiles on the side. We're going to take a plate on the top. And finally, another tile on the side. So we get a nice structure here with studs on the side and three smooth sides. And you will happen to notice that this is exactly six studs wide. So we are going to integrate that into our road now. Before we do, we're going to take these eight by plates and put those on the bottom and that's going to lock those together but more importantly when we do put this into our roadway it's going to help make our roadway sturdy around there so that if we push on this at all it is not going to budge all right First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our manhole cover. Quite simply, you take a cylinder and toss it in and bang, we have a perfect manhole cover. All it is is resting there so you can take it out and remove it. Next thing that you can do with this is take some grill pieces, oh, I'm going the wrong way, and very gingerly slide them in to the slot that is in the arch. This is tricky, but it can be done. There we go, we got both of them in. We're gonna take a third grill piece and we are going to slide that in sideways. So there we go. Now we have a perfect grill in there. And if you want, you can take a tile with a hole in the middle, put that on, and that slots in perfectly as a manhole cover and is easily removed. Well, okay, maybe not so easily, but you know what we can do? Pop, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you how I integrated this into the road. Oh, before I do, I wanted to mention that I did make these roads wider I noticed with the new vehicles, and I was playing with my daughter's ambulance here, that the roads were just 
way too narrow for builds nowadays. So I added two brick widths to each side and that also almost eliminates that visual cue that there's one millimeter difference on one side or the other. So let's take this off. And this is our construction, same thing. On the bottom we have a tile and that's going to ride along with this tile. And then on the very top, we add another plate. So now when, so now our, our studs all line up. So we have our two plates on the bottom that we always had from our original road. We're going to go up one, two, three, four more uh, bricks. And oh, we'll get rid of that. And then since that lines up, we're just going to lock that in. Perfect. Now, I also wanted to do the kind of drain that is from that movie with the horrible clown. And I thought it was going to be really tricky. I thought it was going to be really complicated. In fact, it turned out to be really simple to do this. So all we have to do here is take our piece that usually is going to ride that way. We are going to invert it so that it's actually facing backwards. We're going to add a couple grill pieces to the top. And we're not even going to worry about covering those studs because that's going to add to the detail here. And then we put our tile back in place and on the other side as well. Oh, that doesn't want to cooperate with me. There we go and lock that down. And there we go. We have that drain. Super easy. All right, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you get some inspiration to integrate some more details into these roads. We'll be doing crosswalks and all sorts of things, but this is just the beginning. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to those who have liked, subscribed, and shared. Please continue to do so. If you wish to join the conversation, we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to support our videos, please do so by pledging to Patreon. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming in bricks. Bye-bye.